right. Hello, everybody. My name is Dion Emere Morales. Yes, I just gave you my middle name because I'm so hyped about that last round we just had in round two. If you haven't watched that video, you missed it. You weren't here. You need to go watch it, okay? And my people are like, wait, can you say that again? No, I won't say it. Rewind. You watch it again. Uh, we got Raymond Fox versus Oliver Williams here. Hyperspace, the recruit championship. These are people who got zero to two wins in our qualifying rounds. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you that I... I'm excited about this matchup. This is going to be interesting. We got a little first order on um, first order violence coming. I'm with my man, William Hagwood, the Wookiee himself, the killer beard hawk, the killer of men, but actually not a killer. He's a really nice guy. I want to tell you that. But he's going to give us our breakdown. I'm going to open the Choose Your Champion. I think my blood sugar might be a little low. But that's okay. <laughs> We're going to have a good time. Let's go. Uh, my middle name's a duck. It's up to you to guess which one. Anyways, we got a fox over here, Raymond Fox, uh, flying, representing the aces here, the named pilots uh, for the First Order, has uh, Major Von Reg in the Thai, inter, or Thai BA Interceptor, because uh, this is the First Order, and he's the Red Baron, um, and he does have an ability, I'll say it now because we'll probably forget about it the rest of the game, uh, during the system phase, you may choose one enemy ship in your bullseye. That ship gains one deplete or strain token. Um, very good, uh, often forgotten about. We have Hollow as well, another uh, first order interceptor. You can pass, must pass tokens to friendly ships at the start of engagement. Normally, you see that with Crown Tradition, but not here. Oh no. Uh, we got Scorch, who gets an extra die if he just takes a stress on offense. And uh, then Rush. Rush, who um, says, while you are damaged, treat your initiative as six. Um, this is one of my <laughs> one of my personal favorite. Not the not this particular list, but uh, a list building restriction that I personally enjoy, which is named pilots, no upgrades, uh, and it's just looks beautiful over there. Just four pilot cards and some shield tokens. Um, so. Oliver Williams, though, your uh, bet uh, to all choose your champion here, uh, is flying uh, some generics, representing generic SFs here with one, two, three, four, five Zeta Squadron Survivors. This is the lowest initiative I2 TIE SFs. Uh, they all have concussion missiles and passive sensors. So the TIE SF. Does have the heavy weapon turret ship ability. Does say uh, you can rotate your turret only to your front and rear quadrants. Uh, you must uh, treat any front arc weapon uh, requirement of any missiles as turret. So basically, um, their turret is where their missiles are shooting. Those missiles are concussion missiles, three dice, long range, two to three there. Uh, for ranges, and if they hit, they can expose nearby damage cards, and of course, passive sensors. And this is what really the 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 strength of this build is: mm -hmm. uh, the passive sensors. Uh, you, it's an action to flip your charge, and when you activate, uh, you can either take a target lock or calculate action. The benefit that these tie SFs have with that target lock action is that they have a Targa lock linked rotate on their action bar, ensuring that uh, they can uh, get that missile off in either arc anytime they try to shoot there. Um, also, the passive sensors is a good way to, if perhaps uh, three or four of the SFs shoot missiles into a single target and kill it, the last SF can then take a target lock on a different target. So very easy to switch targets, very easy to get those locks out, and um, uh, c can cover a lot of ground by not having to K-turn and can just shoot missiles out the rear. Very cool. Oh, little, little bump, <laughs> I'm, I'm still, I'm, st I'm still excited about the last one. Still calming down for uh, yeah. the uh, the uh, nail biting experience we have. Love so it. I do uh, on a on a macro level. I do like Raymond Fox here. 
uh, was able to split up Kylo Ren, who you'd normally see in that triple ace slot next to uh, Major and Hollow. Yep. Uh, to get Scorch and Rush. I really like that um, line of thinking. That's potentially two three dice attack ships. Yeah. No, I mean, everyone's shooting three dice around here. Like, uh, you have Hollow as a secret support. I would have liked him to not take the bid and take that proud tradition because um, mm. I, I enjoy uh, doing the red moves with Hollow and then passing off the stress token. Now, super, one, super useful. One thing just so so far in the game that I'm, I'm, I'm slightly worried about just a little bit. Uh, Raymond has been a little, we'll see if it matters, but he's been a, a little willy-nilly, I'm going to say, willy-nilly with those uh, deplete and strain tokens. Uh, because he's going to have to pa <laughs> right, pass again, pass, hollow. Um, because he, he's making it so that Von Reg ends up with a strain and a um, a strain and a deplete or a double strain. And when they engage, there might be a situation where he only has, uh, where he has, you know, either double strain or double deplete or, uh, or a strain and a deplete on... Uh, uh, on Von Reg, he needs to he needs to take a turn off of doing double actions in order to get that righted before they enter engagement. Yeah, I I fully agree with you. He did actually take the evade. Um, no, it, it's uh, he had an evade token out there um, that he did pass to uh, the major. Oh, so he bear he bear rolled and then um, yeah, OJ <laughs> OJ his opponents got him there. <laughs> Uh, we, I don't think we, you had saw the evade because it was kind of behind the ship. But to um, continue on from what you're saying, I think it would have been better to actually send the deplete to uh, the major so that he can clear both deplete and strain with a single blue maneuver there. A simple one bank into the rocks. Because uh, you clear one instance of stress, strain, and deplete every time you do a blue maneuver. Um, but we're getting into it here. Uh, the SFs did quick maneuvers to get into this more open field around that big rock. We're mm -hmm. all going to come in uh, for those passive sensors. Yep, he's keeping it nice and simple. This is what the the SFs are. It is a jousting list. They've come to joust. Um, and the thing is, like, they don't have to K-turn. They can just continue forward. And like you had mentioned earlier, passive sensors, target lock, rotate. Shoot your missile. Mm -hmm. Rinse yeah, and repeat. With, now, with the bid, Rush was able to move after them, too. So it's, it's, it will always be an ace in this matchup, which is nice. Now, here, Rush has been able to move in a, in a way where he's completely arc dodged the entire swarm. He's in the side arc now, and he's going to get a nice, juicy range one shot on the green TIE SF there. Tor uh, uh, Scorch, though, St Scorch is about to get torched, just to tell you that. <laughs> but here, here's the thing, though. Yeah. It is, it is the cheapest ship in the list. 33 points. Could be worse. Could I you mean, trade? I mean, he's going to hit blue real hard with uh, the four dice attack, though. Yeah. I mean, if you could potentially clear one of these TIE fighters off the table, then maybe it becomes worth it. All right, he's, he's got to get these uh, interceptors in here um, shooting through these tight asteroid lanes. Mm -hmm. So that was a lock for a strain. And we'll see if Hollow, I assume he's going to boost, but it's hard to say. I'm very surprised that he went towards those asteroid fields. The SFs really didn't give him a, a chance to get some preparation rounds. Oh, boy. The hype train here. I did forget to mention uh, Chillin' Guy. Woo -woo. Uh, subscribed for 31 months. Chillin' Guy. My nice. man. Uh, always been with us for so long. That's almost three years then, isn't that, it? It is. Yeah. It Coming is, up. man. It's, That's uh, cr almost, it's crazy. Uh, past two and a half years, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, you with us every step of the way, but 8 bit deity, my man Rob, getting Dropping it 10. with 10 subscriptions there. 
uh, handed out. Uh, if you are being gifted those subs, yeah, make sure uh, you say you thank can, you. Uh, yeah, thank thank the person, but also it does allow you to go back and rewatch the stream later on mm -hmm. uh, when we're offline. Check in uh, with what we had done throughout the day. Yep. Go watch round the end of round two, nail biter. Yep, you got th that. Gives you. I mean, we have. I think it's sixty days worth of vods on there that you mm -hmm. could watch uh, completely commercial free. You don't even have to wait for like, and you don't have to wait for the YouTube videos. You just have them there, right away. All right. All right. So Ray Raymond that had to boost with the hollow here, but it looks like they're both going to get clean shots and some good focus fire on blue. Yep. We'll see. He might be able to get a ship and a half here with the uh, with the good roll. First one, only one hit. Not he didn't a good start. Spend the lock. I'm a little surprised he didn't spend the lock either. Maybe. Yeah, I thought this would be an all-in kind of full send situation. <laughs> Hollow did have to pass that strain token over to the major. He's now double strained. Yep. Spends a lock here. I'm, I, you know, I honestly think he forgot that he had the target lock on Von Reich. Like, I think there was a, yeah. mo a moment of I mean, forgetting there's, there. There's a lot of moving parts here, so. Yep. Um, I That's still one. think it would be tough to get six damage onto this SF. Um, especially with that attack only doing a single damage here. Von Reich would have had to, had to have done at least one. And then this shot, get all four. So, we'll see. Scorch is in prime position to do a lot of damage here. Three hits. One, two, three. Bam. Single of Ed. That's a half to SF right off the bat. How much are these SFs? There's five of them. So 40, 40 points. 40 points yep, each. Sense. Some chonky SFs. Yeah, but Scorch is worth almost that. 32, 33. 33 points, so um, it's going to be a trade up here if the uh, if they can take down Scorch completely. And we might see some spare missiles thrown into Hollow and uh, Von Reg if you right, Scorch you goes right. down too early. And next shot here. One, spend the lock. Do it again. With these color-coded locks here. Are you able to convert for two? Only threw his lock away. That's sad. And um, scorch. Taking at least one. Yeah, because you can take that crit on the shield. Mm -hmm. You got two. I think those are tauntauns on those locks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if they're a squadron based or just cool. Either way, I'm a proof. Ninja paint it forward. Oh man. Uh that's that's the way to do it. That's right. There was one person who 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 uh gifted one to another, who gifted one to another. It's awesome. Spreading the love mm -hmm. forward. You guys are awesome. Oh, chunky monkey uh gifted it to Ninja and says, "You know what? I appreciate that." Gave it to Lord Bar 21. And we uh, got one was... hit. Here's the reroll on the concussion missile. Got another conversion for two. Scorch takes another. All right. Half for half here. So far favoring uh, the named pilots. And it uh, looks like Caterbury uh, confirming that that is representing Tauntaun Squadron, which I'm a big fan of. Can we read passive senses again? I sure. know. Uh, uh, da Daniel, Daniel's getting a little triggered because they're just spawning the arc and not doing the full 360-degree <laughs> bubble for the target lock. I mean, yeah. the players the players say he's like, I'm firing everything into Scorch, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> if, if we're in a situation where it starts to matter, I will I will call him out on it. Promise. Promise. Yeah. Oh! Ooh. No! Natties to saddies! <laughs> yeah, hit, hit, hit crit after the mod of three evades from Scorch, and we're running low on 
uh, shots here. Yep. So here is uh, the last target this lock. Is the, this is the fourth one. We got yep. one more. Red hasn't fired yet. Ah, uh, yes. Tries again. He's like, all right, more natties. What, do you, what say you? Know, Takes two more. That puts uh, Scorch down. Oh, sorry, I was I was incorrect. Blue and red haven't shot yet. He was he's moving from the back forward. I thought I saw red trigger. I thought maybe blue's left. Mm. It's cool. It's cool. We'll find out soon. Here's blue. So so he did die then. Because he took okay. a hit from the last one, a shield from the one before, a hit from the last one, and now two more. So Scorch is dead. Uh, they do concussion after the attack. Is he not dead? Uh, same initiative step. But he just locked him. Oh, okay. He's locking Hollow. Uh, yeah, I would have also preferred to lock Bound Reg, but... Yeah, see, this is a situation where... Uh, knowing what's in your arc is, is a little bit of extra information. Yeah, I'm, I literally but, am typing it in the chat right now. Yeah, it's a little bit of extra information, but, I mean, you could more or less eyeball it that it should be fine. Uh, well, it's really the information that you know that you're in their arc, and all things parallel mean yeah. that they should be in your arc. Like, Mm-hmm. All righty. And we got Rumor DS also getting that one year badge. What, what? Get the helmets. Get the helmets. And uh, we that's got a spent focus spent there. Clear. Yep. So had the strain, which would take away the obstruction. Um, you only remove one strain at a time per defensive roll. Uh, so we'll still have one. Strain remaining. Uh, he only rolled three dice. Yeah, we're good. All right, here's a range yeah. one shot from Rush. Ooh, Rush. Bam. Spend the focus for four. Put some hot sauce on it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Ah, he's taking three. That's half points instantly. Able to avoid the crit, though, which could be absolutely massive. I'm telling you, though, uh, Raymond, he, he gave up Scorch, but uh, did get a little some sum himself, 40 to 33. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, yeah, uh, now Rush can't initiative kill him until he's uh, taking some damage here. Mm-hmm. But the... Barons can certainly come in to fight. Uh, I'm trying to imagine here what the Zetas do. Do you split formation here? Do you like three bank everybody just away and get those rear arcs going? Do you kind of send green and maybe pink towards the... Uh, interceptors while the other three kind of turn away or just go past them. I what I have you, a feeling that think, he's he's going to hit the gas. I think just I everybody think five forward, five rotate forward, backwards. No, five forward passive. You don't have to rotate backwards because oh yeah, passive. It, yeah, because of the passive sensors. But um, yeah, I mean his his flying style so far I feel just gives us gives us a couple clues. He prefers to stay in formation, keeps them predictable. You know where your shots mm -hmm. are going. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I do like, I will say, I do like the idea of three banking towards the board edge because that puts the arc at more of a 45 degree angle. Yeah, um, I was thinking that for like red or blue mm -hmm. um, to try to bend that back arc a little bit to maybe catch hollow. Mm -hmm. Who I think, I think Von Rock's only got one option here and it's hard one in. Yep. Uh, get a little bit of rock coverage, maybe, but also. Has options to get around the rock in multiple ways. Hollow, I don't know what I would do with him. Maybe hard two to get around the rock. Hard one's not going to cut it. Uh, Lord of Britannia, we already took care of it. 
Uh, yes. Yeah, technically, yeah. I mean... I wouldn't say cheating, yeah, but che- it's, che- cheating is a str- is definitely a strong word to cheating. use there. Um, it's, like, it's inappropriately doing it, but you it's gaining a little bit too much more information. But you would gain information from the target lock. Yeah. Just uh, you get a little bit more extra information about yeah. who's actually in the arc. Mm-hmm. Now, I wouldn't say. Uh, I would say we, we got to remember egregious. one piece. One piece of the puzzle that we are missing. One piece of the puzzle that we are missing is you guys can't hear the table audio. That's purposeful. Oh, we got the three banks coming. That's purposeful. Mm, nice. um, but uh, you know, like for for instance, uh, we did confirm that he said you know everything's going into into hollow. Like we literally heard him say that, so it didn't matter, right? Um, mm-hmm, now, mm-hmm. when it came to Von Reagan Hollow, it did end up mattering. I basically gave him a gave him a turn to see, like, all right, is he gonna do the bubble now? He didn't, and then I let him know, hey, just a, just a heads up. And likely, remember, this is the recruit championship. We do have some players of varying skill levels. It's a learning moment, and it's been learned yeah. now. Yeah, I mean, if we understand. Uh, you know, maybe maybe uh, I think we've had Oliver on stream before, but. Uh, you know, it's you're on the stream table. You're in a competitive environment. Like, I, we get it. We all been, yeah. we all the, been there. The difference in person, right? The difference would be like if you called target lock and you took like a f- an extra twenty seconds to line up your range ruler like on <laughs> your arc hard. line and and yeah, and to double no. check a close shot. Like that's not that's not cool on a target lock. But could you? No quickly end up seeing if things are in arc with your with your 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 range ruler while you're just putting it out there yeah sure but it's it's the it's the like the motion it's like you're not you're not taking the time to get extra information but you may end up receiving it if that makes any sense yeah now isb uh, ISB 2487, Ray is an ace in my opinion. You know what, though? I was – I let me tell you. There's a couple of people who ended up getting the race, the the rank of a, of a recruit that I'm a little suspect of. I'm not going to lie. There's a couple. Raymond Fox is a pretty good player out of Ohio. Cameron Murray, pretty good player out of Canada. Yeah, Cameron Murray. He's, like, I think like, he, he made a world's cut before. Right. But. Like, like I looked at it and went, like, are you, are you, are, hmm, hmm, are you just bad? Maybe but, they're, maybe they're bad at hyperspace. I don't know. I mean, that's, it, that's certainly a possibility. I mean, uh, there's also the, the thought process of, I mean, that what I did was I took a bigger risk. Um, in a list that I preferred to fly instead of, say, a meta list, yeah. right? Knowing that even if I didn't do great, I would still end up in a, another tournament. Right, right? Which, I think, which I think is the flaw that got uncovered in the format, which, which it, it, the Flight Club, form, Flight Club Championship format has borne other ideas that will mm-hmm. – uh, that will – um, that will continue to come into fruition over time. It's all a learning experiment. It's all you know experimentation. As, as a note, though, we you would you did have to complete four games, right? And with a record of two, at least two and two or under, yeah, to uh, to qualify, you can just uh, oh one drop and be in recruit. Mm-hmm. Or else Matthew Carrier would be in. Uh, he would get a lot of recruit uh, invitations. <laughs> Throw a little shade out to the Midwest Scrubs. Yep. All right. Well, Von Reg did take that one turn to the left, slap down the evade. <laughs> so unhappy that Cam and Brandon are recruits. We'll have to face them next week. Uh, that's fair. Veterans, vet, people in veteran didn't get off easy. Wow, no, was, no, no, no. It was still a gauntlet of players <laughs> in veteran. So, <laughs> all righty, here we go. Hollows starting the train here, going range two into the blue tie SF. That SF is currently uh, down three shields. 
trying to finish it off here. Got two hits, has that target lock. Here comes Von Reg and did not convert. And what's going to be one damage? So not quite, uh, not quite what he was looking for there, but he's able to do some damage. Yeah, it looks like a uh, hollow target lock of Aiden passed it, the deplete over to Rush there. Gonna spin that lock. Here goes hollow. Sorry, I misspoke last turn. Hollow able to get two hits, no hit conversion on the target lock. And that's going to be another damage. S slow bleed into these tie SFs. Yeah, six health on two agility. Uh, they don't go down easy. Though, uh, Raymond Fox here is doing a great job of keeping uh, the, the arc on the wounded ones, um, trying to take blue and green off the board. But still having to split fire, though. And now there's going to be a bunch more missiles coming in. Yeah, turns out you only have to survive three rounds of them shooting concussion missiles before they're done. Getting through the three rounds of, you know, getting through 15 concussion missiles. Mm-hmm. Uh, is <laughs> the, the kicker there. <laughs> So see, it looks like he's going after Rush. Yep. I uh, mean, thank being you. able to thank get that you, tie Oliver, for that tie SF is a uh, is is a mean piece in this uh, in this squad. I think it's harder harder to track down Rush than it is the uh, than the tie Barons. I agree. Uh, but yeah, thank you, Oliver. Um, uh, for, uh, for adhering to our request, and he did end up spawning the range lock first. Mm -hmm. We appreciate that. He's got it. He's got it. <laughs> X Pop here says there is an enemy, an anime level of missiles coming at him. Yeah, full Gundam style happening right here. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely love it. All right, so I guess we're going into rush there. And we got two hits on the first roll. And save. Nice. <laughs> Maui, I had the same thought. I thought you said, uh, <laughs> like, Gangnam style. Yeah, I was no. like, that's not anime. <laughs> nah. Gundam. Well, Gundam is, though. Yeah. <laughs> and I just had, just had an idea, or just the thought process of one of those giant Gundam robots doing the crazy dance. <laughs> 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 oh, like, our beautiful <laughs> minds. Next <laughs> shot here. This is going to be targeting Hollow. And Isophane says uh, to 8-Bit Deity, you mean we have to wait for the commercial break first before the mi the missiles reach the target? Yeah, that's cl classic, uh, classic commercial, <laughs> co com commercial cutting there. All right. Oh, hit crit, crit on this one. Watch yeah, out. Switched, those those he switched targets over to Hollow, actually. He, oh, oh, he's getting oh. half points. Yeah, he's got the evade. Just lose his shields, but wow. Man, all right. Oh, no. Oh, no. You switch targets now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As I think blue might be obstructed. I don't know. There's a lot of missiles coming in here. Someone asked me, what was the last time I avoided 15 missiles? Never. 
<laughs> where my life. <laughs> There's that target lock set up. We'll get the arc check here in a second. I re-roll them all. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. There's that uh, oh. variance coming back now. Hollow gets around with that one. Um, someone mentioning, asking about the... <laughs> look, look, look at that. That's sad. He could have... Uh, he only uh, needed to do was, was uh, one uh, damage to get into the hole. Yep, someone's mentioning about the rotates. Uh, because the passive sensors gives you a target lock action, not just acquiring a target lock, yep. uh, you can link off of it. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Because the passive triggers in the activation, uh, sorry, in the engagement phase, uh -huh. gives you the lock, you rotate off of it, and then it happens. No worries, lots of learning, lots of things, and that's a dead chip. Two go through. Yep. Rip. Yeah, I think F's that's... in the chat. F's in the chat for hollow. Yeah. I think that one's everybody. Yeah, yellow shot, but should be rotated as well. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on here. There <laughs> so is. We'll let's have, we'll have it corrected afterwards. No big deal. And we've learned... I, at least I've learned my lesson of like at least wait for yeah give give them a little bit. There's a there's a lot a lot of triggers going on, and it, it's you know I, I well let's let's see what happens here. Range one shot going into uh, into rush here hit crit defended cleanly. Two bades, no problem. All right, so this is a depleted. Uh, Strain or a depleted rush. He's not strained, but he will have uh, choices here. And I, I think, yeah, he, uh, I would have to agree. I'd rather shoot two dice at the hurt one. Mm -hmm. You actually have a chance to take it off the board if he can blank out. That's right. Here we go. Two dice and rewarded hit crit. Mm -hmm. All right, blues clenching here. Uh, and he lives, but there's a crit there. You Ooh. take the double damage and you're gone. What do we get? It is a damage sensor array. So gonna be mm -hmm. gonna be living. We okay. So yeah, gonna be no missile next round. Won't be able to take the passive sensors or even a regular target lock action. Uh, what was that range three? Mm. No, everybody was in range two. Range oh, two. Rush. Did I say? Did I say three? That might have been my fault. <laughs> no, I mean, you might have said three. I'm sorry if I did. <laughs> Either way, uh, the overlay. Uh, mm, wait. No, if I'll, if Oliver's moving first and shooting first. Rush is on the other team. What? No, Rush is not on. Rush is not on Oliver's team. He's yep. shooting at those SFs. Try again, Whoopstroids. <laughs> I mean, I get it. They're all they're all uh, first order shifts. So, and it looks like they did correct the arc there. Yeah, they caught it. Yeah, Raymond is beautiful. Uh, extra arcs, which I'm glad everybody's approved of. Yeah, they're like. fantastic. I'm going to tell you, though, man, we're going to be so spoiled when we're back in person. You're like, where's my floaty arcs, fam? Oh, it's just going to be that meme of uh, <laughs> uh, Chang from Community just squinting at the little note. Yeah. That's literally going to be everything on the table uh, during <laughs> next week. Just squinting at, squinting at people's cards like, like I don't, can I even see the little obstacles? I've gotten so used to zooming like to the table, like all the way down yeah. eyeball level. Uh, let's see, OJ here. Yeah, just forgot to spin it. Yeah, that was no moves. It didn't rotate properly. Yeah. It doesn't. He had. 
he had the ability to rotate. So, like, we'll give it a pass. I mean, you should remember to rotate. You should. Well, that's, I think another reason why we were kind of like, like, you really do need to um, check target lock, then choose to rotate, and then measure your arcs. Your arc, yep. Because uh, there, is, there is that extra step in there. I agree if you're just like, I only have a front arc weapon, I'm going to passive. That's uh, less of a deal. But these... But those interesting interactions is why passive sensors is actually so good on these TISFs. Um, that linked action, uh, rotating the arcs, and uh, utilizing their ship ability to shoot range three. Man, so good. All righty. Now I don't I don't think uh, Raymond's out of this yet. Um, that he can still. Uh, we're gonna see. Um, I think uh, a bit. Deity pointed it out that we are gonna see a von Reg trigger here. Um, within the system phase, strain or deplete on somebody in your bullseye. But I'm going to have to agree that these SFs probably are doing one banks or one straights. So mm -hmm. it probably won't matter. Yeah. I, I, the Von Reg, I'm glad they haven't made. Maybe, you know what? Maybe they should make more abilities with the during the system phase. Like like a, like a trigger like this, like mm -hmm. assigning a token or something during the system phase. Because maybe mm -hmm. then we'll get more used to Von Reg. It's just such an awkward. <laughs> Such an awkward check. Well, if he's yeah. moving, if he's moving this fast with the three banks, the uh, the strain would have might might have mattered. Yeah, uh, that's a, it's miss a good trigger. ability. It's it says it's, maybe. It's, it's surprisingly good. It is like feels bad when like you only have stressed ships in your bullseye, who are you just going to clear their stress and whatever token you gave them before, so. But one armed Billy, it's a bad design. No. I really like their um their chassis build. I think they're they are they also have uh the V one. We were trying to think of who who else had uh V one uh stress clearing maneuvers mm -hmm. and it's the it's the first order interceptor. They have hard one and one bank blues. Yep. Super good. All right. And he's moved them into formation. Here's Rush trying to get a little clip here. Now, because of the angles, remember, if Rush has arc uh, when in line with uh, with the SFs, that means the SFs would also, at least Blue, would also have an arc on him. So he'd have to reposition here a little bit to try to bend the arc in. You could potentially barrel roll to Russia's left and then boost, but that might leave you a little long. Does he have arc right now? No. No. Uh, yeah, you have to barrel roll boost. You have to yeah. see. You, you have to. You can't, you can't just sit here. He's going to at least target lock. Oh, that focus might be from before. Mm -hmm. So he looks like he's barrel rolling forward right now as a selection. Okay. And no, no additional maneuvering there. All right, lining up for the one hard potentially, or trying to catch the uh, mm -hmm. them around the other side of the board. Yep. Yeah, and I, I'm pretty sure that focus token is from last round because he had it for offense and then netted two hits. So. Yep. And he's not rolling dice this round, so it should not be a big deal. Uh, we got target lock for a strain. Full offense here. Needs to take down one of these Fs, SFs. Um, blue is the most likely 
um, who did anticipate the Von Reg trigger and had done a blue maneuver anyways. Smart eye nice. for uh, Oliver Williams there. Let's see what we get. And hit, crit, crit. Throwing some hot fire. Well, it's dead then. He yeah. only has two defense. Even can spend the focus token to block two. He still is going to take one. And uh, Raymond Fox gets his first kill. All right. Disable power regulator there at the end. 60 to 86 is the score right now. So remember, Raymond did lose hollow. That's a big chunk of points. And these Thai SS are only 40. So Oliver's still leading right now. Mm hmm Yep, even he's gonna lead even after uh Green goes down as well. So it's it's still an uphill battle, but uh these aces are at full aces. I keep saying them. They're they're named pilots. I wouldn't exactly mm -hmm. call Von Rogue. I mean, I guess he double repositions that I six, so I guess an ace. Um, did we have passive charges that time? Mm, just from yellow, it looked like. Mm -hmm. So right now, let's let's talk about Raymond's positioning right now. He's got Von Reg and Rush pointed in opposite directions, but both of these ships can uh, can move in a pretty pretty tight um, area, right? You got the hard two um, for for Rush. Notice that does have a does have a focus on there. I mean, uh, does have a stress. Excuse me. Yeah, he did. So, he did link it. it yeah, uh, he must, he must have just called like... focus. You know, called focus and then barrel roll. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll, we'll see where, where things go here. The SS could also opt to turn in at least the purple, green, and yellow could potentially turn in, get some barrel rolls and start and try to flip the direction of the game right now. The movement direction. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Now I do, I don't normally say this, but I do miss out on daredevil from, uh, the bound reg. Normally, that's a tool that players will use to use the ship ability to barrel out and then hard one back in. Mm -hmm. uh, can put him in very interesting places, a lot easier to arc dodge. And without that tool available, I think he's going to have a hard time keeping arc if these SFs do turn in. I think Green's just hitting the gas, though. I think Green's got no business hanging around. 100%. Uh, but I don't, I don't know. I mean, purple might as well try to come in, right? Try to get some blocks there, do something. Because you figure, so what's the stress clearing maneuvers here? Rush right. has a hard two, and Von Rags got hard one or one bank. Keeping it forward maneuvers. Keeping it super simple here. Two straight. Two straight passive. Mm-hmm. Okay. I I kind of all right. So he's splitting it up. All right, I I, I approve of this a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, because if if uh, Von Reich moves forward at all, like that one bank, he's going to end up being in both yellow and red arcs, and they still have a missile ready to go. So I I see what they're trying to do. One one last missile here. Bait in with green. Just try to soak up some uh, last couple shots. Ooh, got, got a block. bump. But can he mm -hmm. actually take advantage of it? It's going to be the question. He's only going to have a single shot coming from Green, and Green has only two hole left. Vaughn, well, nope, never mind. Not going to happen. Is Von Reg sitting in Purple's mm -hmm. arc right now? Yeah. Uh, you're going to have to deplete Barrel Roll, but it might take away your shot. Uh, well, I mean, you're you are you're in you're in Red's arc, you're in Yellow's arc, Everybody's you're in Purple's arc. So you might be trading here a little bit, Murphy. and uh, that would not do be you, a winning trade for Raymond. Yeah, do you go? So the self preservation's the deplete evade, deplete barrel roll evade. There's deplete. Yeah, I think that's what he's going for. Preservation here. Barrel roll, barrel roll back. backwards. Mm -hmm. He might still get a shot if he barrel rolls backwards, though. Mm, yo, that's close. 
I think uh, I'm taking the focus uh, for yes. the shot then. Uh, Are when, you? When about okay. the evade. Yeah, if he if he clearly didn't have a shot, I would evade for sure. Mm -hmm. But I mean, would you though? Because uh, you're gonna be rolling three dice each time. All right, uh, has the chance to do it here. If he can just uh, put through two. Yep, you got the range one, four dice. Oh, is he, sh uh, is he shifting to range? Strain. Oh, no, the, sorry, the, the deplete. The deplete. Oh, have to man. All the temptation. Spend for two, question mark? <laughs> no, you still have rush to shoot him. I, uh, hold on to your focus. Preservation. You still have three more SFs. You haven't even taken down the second one. People are, are asking for violence. You can feel it. You can feel it. Not, he chose preservation. No. No, it, it's, you, it's a you correct choice. Be, you <laughs> might be throwing away the game with that violence. If it was to get four, yeah, right? Because that's a guaranteed kill, right? So at least you know you're trading for something. And we got two hits looking at Rush here. No mods on Rush's side, just three dice. And he's able to get one first shield plinked onto Rush. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Rush actually kind of wants to be damaged, so if, mm -hmm. uh gets up to the I-6 so we can start initiative killing these other SFs. That's right. <laughs> Hurt me. Hurt, Hurt me. me. But it does give up points when it does that, so maybe, maybe not just yet. <laughs> Where are we going? So we checked the range and Von Reg was there. And here we go, we'll get the re-roll. And that's a full string. Hit, crit, mm -hmm. crit. And he's able to get the three, he could Spend the focus to get all of it or yeah, just take the it. shield? Spend it. Spend it now. Spend it now. Spend it while you roll the eyeball. Next attack, you might not have an eyeball to spend it on. Oh, he's thinking now, about he's it. Looking at the, con he's looking at concussion onto uh, green because green does have a damage card. It would flip up that card mm -hmm. if he lets one slip through. I just don't think with only one more shot coming in, you're not guaranteed to roll eyeball results. Nope. And he's he's going to spend it. Better to be safe than yeah. sorry. Yeah, I mean, the other concussion missile might hit you. So, yeah, <laughs> you know, I wouldn't worry, worry too much about that right now. Passive trigger here. Take the target lock. Try again. You've cleared the focus. Can you get some more damage into sorry not more can you get damage into von reg here we go three dice no range bonus for von reg whiffs on the initial roll passive sensors okay. gives you that target lock though try again do over only one one oh, oh. oh. von reg might be able to slip out of here I'm damaged. I know he didn't do a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. He won easy. No problem. Easy peasy, All right, baby. Well. Uh, so, Rush still gets to shoot, but so far, the SFs only did one damage that round. Choose yeah. preservation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For, <laughs> Here uh, comes a range one from Rush, though. Remember, this mm -hmm. uh, SF only has two hull, but does have a focus. All right, hit crit. Would need a blank average. out. Would need a blank out. Did purple take a lock? That oh, is a great question. Dead. He's oh, gone. gone. He's gone. Hit crit. Call the doctor, and the doctor say he's dead. Okay. 
Time of death, 127 <laughs> Central Time. Uh, that puts it to 80 for Raymond and 86 for Oliver. Um, going into under 25 minutes here. Someone did mention about Purple not taking his passive. He did engage. Yep. It's it's sure it's a may all... it's a may ability. So it's one of those where it's uh, yeah <laughs> yeah. I, you know you know I I tell you there's this whole uh, I this whole argument there's, with like oh it's a hard there. line there's yeah uh, if if, if, if it's the line mm -hmm. may ability or the must may may I don't mess with that unless FFG slash AMG says m all mays are turned to must. Then I don't I don't go and, and fix May abilities. Not gonna do it. All right. You can argue with me all you want, but I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. That would be a quick death of a stream if I had to go fix every May ability. <laughs> imagine imagine an in person event where I'm constantly tapping on people's shoulder because they They're like hey hey you gotta focus you can spend it yeah no I reroll check check your friend for a reroll <laughs> yeah no <laughs> no no. Board state is important. Board state we, is correct. We do appreciate a good board state. We can't catch it all. I still feel bad about uh, Casper's. Casper's is an ace, though. So, like, I'm rooting for him. Yeah. But also, like, you did pretty good, Casper's. Like, don't blame us for that. <laughs> I mean, you can't blame us. We'll take the responsibility for it. Uh, let's see. Raymond's dinging his passive sensors. Purple engage. Uh, did no missed. I mean, Raymond. Raymond pointed it out, so that's on. That's on Raymond. Yeah, I don't uh, know. Yeah, if if that's between uh, the players. Yeah, at that if, point. if if Raymond let it go, then I don't care. That's fine. Whatever. It was it was Raymond who dinged it. So yeah. I mean, I that's I, again. I, I like I like that sportsmanship of Raymond though. Raymond's in the back seat here, right? He's mm -hmm. just. Trying, trying to take control of this fight, and he's still right. letting his opponent take an obvious trigger. Right, like you know I would, I, mean? I would do that in my own game. This is, I'm, I'm simply <laughs> stating as a content creator, I can't, I can't do all the maze, can't do it. <laughs> well, it, it does become like feels bad too, where the person remembering all their triggers, right, uh, and then just watching your opponent getting told about all of his triggers and stuff that's for wednesday nights right exactly wednesday nights was when we're practicing for games but this is a tournament this is the big stage by the way i have been listening in on their game and both of them are great sports uh there's just a oh, great yeah. game state and environment right now wonderful players mm -hmm. all righty the Zeta, one bank to the left, drops a focus. The first focus action taken by this Tyus Zeph list. <laughs> no, they had other focuses. One could only focus a bit ago, but then he died. <laughs> uh, the only focus <laughs> that might matter in this game. Yeah, that's true. We are running low on missiles. Yellow is completely out. Red has a single missile left. Mm -hmm. And as they come around to that corner, that's the problem with the hourglass uh, uh, ships like that is once you hit that corner, um, the the turn through it is uh, exposing uh, those sides. That's Rush with a Talon roll there. He might have snuck out of Purple Zark. He we'll might have. And here. and here comes Von Reg. Von Reg, nice side arc position. Does Purple have any more missiles left? That would be the only one that's no. But he, he focused, so he must not. Uh, um, he has passive sensors from last round, <laughs> if you oh, remember. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> fully modded. So it has, it has a lock out there. So that's bad. Uh, boost if you can, but, like, stay out of arcs. Mm, <laughs> Tough situation. I, mm, I mean, I'm, I'm deplete lock of aid, right? And then you can hard wander. And not be obstructed by the or hard one next round. Yeah, so that's another bit of advice. Is why uh, they're a strange ship to a lot of people because they don't want to take the depletes. Yeah, but I'll tell you that, especially if you're taking an evade when you're 
Uh, so your option would be to roll three naked dice. Right. Or two dice with a target lock. Uh, you have significantly better odds to get two hits with the two dice target lock than you ever would with three dice natural. Less upside. You can't get the natty threes. Mm-hmm. But I, you should you should never bank on nattying three hits. No. Uh, ever at X-Wing. <laughs> that's my, that's my strategy, bro. That's my strategy. my strategy. Don't be telling I people. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> that's well, not a great strategy. Here is Von Reg. It's range two, so it's going to be two dice. Uh, and APD, actually, I like the like the uh, the note here. If they take the deplete, they become a they could be, they become a tap, right? They become a yeah, type V one essentially. Horrible, horrible, adorable little V one. All righty, well, got one hit, has a lock. We're gonna get the reroll right here, I believe. Yes. And not able to convert on that one. Able to evade. Easy. Wow, a bit DD. That comparison is terrible because the first order provocateur uh, is forty-one points and a baron's twenty-eight. <laughs> wow, that's. But uh, you could just pr that provocateur could also take a strain and yeah. double mod three attack dice. So exactly, I guess potential there. All right, here's that missile. Three dice, fully modded, target lock and focus. Let's see what we get. All right, yep, you needed those mods. Two blanks out there. Two. Uh, should be easy for uh, the major here. Two dice in an evade. Shrug it Two off. Dice. Oh, because he's strained. I mean, either way, he got he didn't one need on the it. die. Yeah, one on the die, and then the evade token. So, like, good enough. He's gonna roll the extra one. Take what you Just need. Now, nah, you see, Dice God said, "I gave you what you needed. Stop I gave asking you. for more." <laughs> yeah, Don't I mean, it would have mattered had there been other shots on him. Yeah, but I do not believe there are this round. Uh, speaking of shots, though, Rush did arc dodge there, so mm -hmm. he should have a good shot on return. Rush, that'll, Raymond. Be, that'll be range two, no modifiers mm -hmm. here. Let's see what we end up getting. Three hits to start. You roll them and convert them back to three. Mm -hmm. There we wow. go. Purple hasn't taken any damage yet, but that is probably mm -hmm. that is gonna, but that's gonna be about to change. Let's see. Hey, that looks like a little face just for a second there. I don't know if you're not sure if you saw it. All right. That's uh, two damage after spending the focus from purple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kylo Rem, I, I mean, I don't know if they provocateurs need to go down to 30 points. Uh, if anything, they could drop them. There's, um, there's a whole thing about thresholds right now in X-Wing, mm. and there's a lot of ships who... Uh, that's probably why provocateurs are 41 points, is that they don't want you to run five of them. Uh, I, same I, reason why. Hmm? I I think the generics need to go up. Oh, the any the generics that we see spam. Provocateurs? No, 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 not that one, not that one. But like, oh, the, yeah, I was like, say, like, like you're, really? you're like, <laughs> sorry. Let me let me let me restate. <laughs> let me restate the the okay. obviously good. Spammable oh, sure. generics need to go up in points. Like minus. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, honestly, they're... just one one point to Barons and one point to M three A's would be enough to really. Yeah. Um, not take them out of the meta, but like now you have harder choices to make in your squads. Uh huh. And besides, Baron Barons, I don't know if they need to go back up to thirty, but they definitely need to be twenty nine points. And M three A's. <laughs> Definitely need to be 26. Apparently, they are better than foes, which doesn't make any sense. Uh, but at the same time, they can sell you. They can't sell you five Type V ones. Mm. Yeah, uh, I mean, mm -hmm. you gotta make them money. That's true. Um, <laughs> the developers said that they don't. They don't get like information from marketing. 
Mm. I'm gonna say sus on that for a mm. bit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't you think game three is? Yeah, Marcy Glyph, I think they need to go up just one point. Uh, put them to 26. That weapon hard point, I guess, apparently does cost them an extra point. But it's their comparison to Thai foes is so strange because a foe is technically a better ship. Right. It has a better dial uh, and sloops and all this other stuff. But the M3As have a hard point. That's a huge difference. Now, Rush did do a three fo fo forward here. Takes a focus. Has arc right now. Might be debating a barrel roll. If it, uh, does it get him out of the arc? It's close. Yeah, the boost won't do it. Uh, the barrel's not enough. No, you're going to no. get cornered there and so this hangs out there's already got arc now yep, here's this hard one i was talking about <laughs> i think you lock bear roll go see what's up with purple yep yeah, yep say hey or let's, just bear, let's oh, go bear roll with the ship ability and then focus yeah yep that makes a lot more sense a lot more sense I'm so aggressive with them, I forgot that you could just use the ship ability to bear roll. Yep. I'm lock all the time with them. All right, Whatever. here we go. This is going to be a range three shot. Trying to get that last shield. Trying to get some half points here. Raymond knocking at the door of the lead and rolls double crits. Uh, ooh, maybe it actually was that yellow? That's strange. Uh, you must have. I sorry. I assumed so. it was purple, but it was not. Twas not. <laughs> I also assumed it was purple. Ooh, red can't get a lock there. Well, can't get a lock on an enemy ship. There you go. Puts it out on the rock. The rules say he has to. Those rules. <laughs> you can lock your friends. You don't gotta lock obstacles. That's true. <laughs> hey, buddy, want one? Yeah. Hey, what's up? All right, taking that lock there on Von Reg. Another range three of shot, obstructed shot coming. This is just the primary. Yeah. Um, yellow shot all his dice, and we did spend it. One hit after spending the lock. Yeah, with five dice and an evade token. Guaranteed to fail. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to go good. I'll, we'll do what you can there. But, I mean, I think Raymond's got all over on the back foot here. But Raymond still needs six more points. And these SFs are, don't plan on turning around and engaging, I don't think. Nope, there's no they reason. Got, they, they got rear arcs for a reason. <laughs> yeah, they don't want to be blocked. There's no That's that's the biggest risk yeah. if you start facing off against these aces. They can put themselves in places where you can block them the following turns. And hit right. crit, spend the focus, no damage on the rush there. Mm -hmm. Able to keep his points here. Because um, I, I do think that if Oliver can uh, have one of these two First Order ships... Um, it basically locks in the game. Mm -hmm. Really puts the pressure out on him. Got Ooh. two uh, hits, a hit and a crit yep. from... Could... Uh... And both oh. go through. That is a crit. He's got, He's got an evade token. Uh -huh. But it will have him, though. Yes. And see, that's why I thought it was interesting him shooting at yellow through the obstacle. Mm -hmm. uh, he could have potentially mean... killed that ship. Yeah, I mean, I, maybe the thought process is that uh, the obstacle only lets you roll an additional die, while the evade token guarantees the evade. That's true. So, maybe that's the thinking. I don't know. Focus fire should always be your thinking. Agreed, yeah. But you know what? There has to, there has to be a reason there. Has to be. I, I assume that's what it was. He just thought he could do more damage that way. Mm -hmm. uh, 21 12 PJM uh, just got to that two year badge. What? What? Thanks for hanging out with us for so long. Two years.
So that two that years. Is, that's the what uh, were we even doing two years ago? Uh, two years ago today. Uh, hmm, that's a great question. Let's see, that would have been before the world tour. Yes. Because you hadn't gone on that. That was 19, I'm pretty sure. March would have been probably a system open or something, right? We were preparing for Adepticon, uh, the one where Tyler Tippett faced off against Nathan Eide in the final. You are correct. That's what we would have been doing. Good times. Good times. We had a pizza party. We did. Uh, we hope to come. We hope to bring <laughs> it back. That was our patron pizza party. Uh, which was awesome. And that was uh, free pizza for all of our patrons who showed up. It was great. Yeah, it's, that seems, I agree, every, like that seems like decades ago. Uh, <laughs> we're all living new lives by now. And here we go. Rush just keeping on the pressure. You know, silencers usually have a lot of confidence while they have that their shields up. We'll see how much longer it is. It was last decade. I mean, yeah, that's <laughs> definitely, definitely was last decade. This is factually true. And it feels that way, too. It's an appropriate use of the word. It certainly is. Uh, I am surprised that the, well, I guess it was to our full health, though. So makes sense to turn in. Gen Con pizza party, question mark? No, 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 no. Only Adepticons. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, got a, that's could, our, it's that's, our home that's turf. Our convention. Yep. <laughs> Not technically ours, but the one we claim. <laughs> All right. So if I'm taking the lock here, purple is obstructed. That's the piece he's got to go for, though. Yep. I mean, Rush did score the extra 14 points he needed, um, or excuse me, the, the extra 20 points he needed to take the lead. Yep. But that's a lot of shots coming in on Rush here. Target lock for a strain and boost. He's got only one shot coming through him, but it's at a, it's through a rock. So mm -hmm. he's confidently fighting here. Mm-hmm. Two hits. Got the lock. Yeah. He found range one, too. Nice with that boost. Miss. And let's see. That looks like it's going to be a single damage there. Start plinking away. Yeah, Womp, Womp Rat mentioning that with uh, scoring the points last round, he probably should have just turned away with Rush and Bone Reg. I mean, but the, the problem with that, though, is you still have six minutes and change left. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like that, I do the, know what you mean exactly. Like that is enough time to end up getting caught in a corner because you were decided to be cheeky, uh, instead mm -hmm. of like instead of keeping your foot on the, the opponent's throat, in the nicest way right. possible, of course, <laughs> exactly. in the most family friendly way possible. <laughs> keeping the pressure on them, yeah. exactly. Oh, full string, hit, hit, crit, get him. Uh, just a single evade there, or a single eye. So it's going to be halved there. Oh, that's a direct hit. Takes two down to two hole. Wow. All right, flips flips the script again. 115 uh, to 100. Raymond needs another half of these SFs to make it up. So they're going back and forth here. Mm-hmm. Rush is dead? No, Rush is not dead. I mean, Rush is dead. Did I miss something? I mean, I think he's just preparing preparing the Fs in chat for the inevitable. Oh, this was liar. Crit hit. Um, and now he's dead. Now he's dead. See, you you, you went and confused <laughs> me. You know what? <laughs> Lord of Britannia, you get a timeout for fake news, okay? <laughs> fake All news. Right. Fake news. Wait, wait, 
he might just be a precognitive person. Oh, he's a Jedi! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't don't mess with the wizards. Okay? Don't mess with the space wizards. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Well, we did see Rush go up in a ball of flames. The SF's doing the good work. Yeah, that's 100 to 143. That means Raymond needs to take down an SF and a half. And that's a lot of work. Um, I guess yellow is down two. So that's still not very much. That's a lot of work for Von Rock. That might have sealed the deal here. Ooh, and red has a shot on him too. Mm-hmm. With his last missile. And just one. All right, has that strain? Not going to hit. Easy. Well, Rush. So uh, this is we a weird situation because these are initiative twos, which is what Rush was when he started. Yeah. But when Rush dies before moving the initiatives, uh, or even if he changes initiative mid attacks uh he performs his attack at the end of the current initiatives yep um if you would if it was like five and then he would move up to six in this situation he just happened to be second player and an i2 anyways so pretty standard here got two and we'll get one into pink Alrighty. AJ or Ajay? I don't know. Either one. <laughs> uh should know should have known your name because you've been subscribing for 19 months. Thanks for uh joining us on our journey through second edition X Wing. Mm-hmm. It's been a good play. Good. It's been a good time. Can we stop and appreciate this perfect this this beautiful Arc touching. I don't know. Some, some, something about this makes me ha I makes me happy. I don't. I forgot. I, <laughs> I was confused about what that was for us for probably a full two seconds before my brain finally figured out what it was. It feels it feels like some type of important symbol. I don't know. Yeah, it's a it's like, a sign. It's a sign. <laughs> don't know what that is. Uh, it's so strange. All right. <laughs> Um, there you go. It's a chevron pattern. Yeah, it's a chevron chevron hook. There you go. I, I guess so. Yeah. Um, all right. So I do want to mention Marcel um, as we're kind of wrapping up this game here. Uh, Marcel, uh, and I'm quoting him here, ah. says, no, no disrespect intended in this question at all. I just tuned in. My question is, do you guys notice a notable difference in choices made in these than what you'd normally get in other tournaments. I mean, is rookie noticeable or not so much? Basically, same as in the other. I would say that there's you gotta, between these two you between go, you these two Sorry. players. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I would just say that between these two players, I we've seen much. Uh, it has not been noticeable, but I do mm -hmm. believe that these two players are experienced. I, we can question their skill level later, mm -hmm. but I they have table time. They are experienced, so I feel like they are making um, an average amount of tournament mistakes. No difference. I, I agree. I agree. All right, and uh, that we're going to be at time here pretty soon. Shout out to Felcepto donating five subs. By the way, we hit three thirty. We're going to give away a uh, a t shirt. Gold Squadron Ooh. podcast T-shirt in the next uh, next go round here. Uh, Innkeeper sixteen jumping in two with the prime sub twenty months. That's what's up. Working range, towards that two year badge. Range one. That's a hit crit. Yep, Von Reg trying to salvage up some points here at the final round. And Ken Gorey, this is the way for another prime sub there. After spending the lock, 
has a focus and is going to end up with two hits and a crit. And the hit crit goes through right there, but has a evade token for just the crit. So that's evade the ball. token's coming in clutch for these SFs. Yep, that's the ball game. Saves it. You know what? At least for Oliver, it saves him uh, a little mm -hmm. bit of MOV right there, not losing that ship. Oh, that. he's trying to get that MOV though too. Yep, he's got two primary shots onto the major here. Uh, actually, just one primary shot uh, against a strained major. So, has the potential to have him. That's right. We'll find out. It's worth taking the shot. Two on two. Oh, two hits. Two. Watch out. Single. Uh, needs natties here because he spent the focus on offense. I sure did. Or a natty here. A natural squiggle. That's half points. No, it sure, or yes, yes, it sure is. Uh, I was answering my own question about it. Does it get a squiggle? <laughs> All right. So uh, that, so. that adds a little bit more MOV to Oliver <laughs> William. Let's give him some GGs. Thanks for GGs. playing. And we'll let him know. We will put in your score. All righty, congratulations. That was an awesome game. Lots that, of was, lots uh, of back and forth there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We got well, I, I I enjoy that in a game. Sometimes uh it, it hurts me to just watch a game where someone's important piece just dies in the opening shots and they're yeah. like, Oh man, they're struggling the rest of the game. But no, these have been great. Uh back and forth, um, all the way.